everyone. Today we're gonna listen to the story of the ducks and chickens. Can anyone tell me what is the duck sound like, and what is the chicken sounds like? Ga 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 ga. It was ducks sound like to me, and. This what chicken sound like to me. And what about you? Can you tell what is the ducks and chicken sound like to you? Let's start the story today. Chicklings, duck and hen both laid some eggs. They were very proud mothers. They would sit with silly smiles on their faces, proudly waiting for their eggs to hatch. Duck said, "Hen, let us put the eggs side by side and see whose eggs are the most beautiful." If you like," said Duck. "But I already know my own." "Huh," said Hen. "Wait until you have seen mine." Duck carried her eggs carefully. One by one, to a spot where there was soft hay on the ground. Hen carried her eggs over to the same spot and gently set them down beside ducks. Duck picked up the first egg from her side. Look at this one. This egg is so smooth, she said. They both looked at how smooth the egg was. Hen picked up an egg too. This one is also smooth, and it is so round. Look at the lovely shape of this egg. They both look at the shape of the egg. They put back those two eggs and pick up two others. Duck said, "This one is smooth and shapely." And has beautiful freckles. By the time the last one was picked up and put back, the eggs were all mixed up together. Oh no! Hen said, "I am fatter than you, so my eggs must be the largest ones." So Duck picked out the smallest eggs and put them back in her nest. Hen picked out the largest eggs and took them back to hers. Then they sat on them until the eggs hatched and out popped fluffy ducklings and chicks. One day, Duck and Hen met with their babies. Now, said Duck proudly. This the handsomest duckling you ever saw. I suppose they are handsome," replied Hen. "But don't you think these are the most beautiful chicks in the whole world?" "I suppose they are beautiful," replied Duck. The next day, Duck taught her ducklings how to be ducklings. Up behind me. One behind the others, she told them. We are going to the pond for swimming lessons. But the ducklings just could walk one behind the other. They ran circles around Duck. They ran over her and under her until Duck became dizzy watching them scoot about. When they reached the pond. The ducklings dipped their feet in the water, shook their heads, and refused to go in. Hen was teaching her chicks how to be chicks. She taught them to scratch and hop backward to make the world pop up out of the ground. But the chicks couldn't do it. They fell on their faces instead. She taught them to run all over the farm and look for their own food. They just follow her everywhere in a long time. When Hen's back was turned, the chicks moved 
cram into the dust drinking wall. Edward would come out. Josh the dog was lying next to his wall. He opened one eye but didn't seem to mind. He would rather drink from the puddle anyway. Doug and he sighed and sat down together to talk. Did you find know that they had each taken the wrong eggs? The ducklings were chicks, and the chicks were ducklings. Never mind, said he. Let's just call them chicklings, and we will always be right. One thing we have found out, said Duck, is that the chicklings are all beautiful. They have words. We would not have mixed them up. If they would, we would not have mixed them up. Hen agreed, and they sat all afternoon happily watching their chicklings play, the ducklings play in the dog's bowl, and the chicks play on the dog. That's it. Next time, we will listen to Flowers and the Goat. Please come back. Bye-bye.